Hi, I'm Real Unite Demon, and this is Sir Lancelot on the Zenith Spectrum. I quite like this one actually, but I'll first I'll put a picture of the uh, the cover up because it's really kind of cool. You've got Lancelot there, sort of swinging from the the rafters with with um, horn dogs, and yeah, they're wearing horn helmets actually, um, and birds. They're all kind of flying around. Anyway, um, Lancelot. By, this is by Melbourne House. His aim in the game is to actually uh, work his way to the Holy Grail. That's what he's looking for. So it's kind of was that something that uh, King Arthur did and announced at the round table? Probably. Anyway, um, there's a that's a hundred. I was going to say 124 screens. There are 24 screens, and it's only a 16k game. Now it has kind of a lot of. Uh, I'm guessing that this was prior to. Um, uh, uh, Manic Miner, but I may be very, very wrong. This may be a clone of the thing, but but anyway, this is a, a, a 16k game. You can tell because there's a, there's a limited number of sort of sprites and, and bad guys, but at the same time, it's good enough. It works really well, um, and it's got some weird crossovers as well. So we'll play without further ado. Um, it's it was one I picked up recently. It's one I actually wanted, so I went out and specifically went and got it. And I do love that title screen with that Sir Lancelot glancing around there on top. I just love uh, something about seeing the 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 spectrum. Um, colour palette cycle is really kind of cool. Anyway, right, so it's pretty simple. It reminds me very much as Manic Miner. You've got to collect all of the flashing bits and pieces. Um, he's got a little jump noise. That's about the best of it. There's a little bird there that very, very Manic Miner-esque. Um, we've got a timer running, which is kind of harsh, actually. Um, he doesn't have a very high jump, so... And I made a real mistake there. He doesn't have a very high jump, um... He actually, he can't actually jump over anything really significant, which is a bit of, a bit annoying if you ask me. But <clears throat> it still works, right? Okay. And once you've been up down a up a ladder, you can't do it. So you just got left and right and jump. Basically, that's the only options that are available. But it does. If you can, if you if you look at it, if you're a fan of Manic Miner, and I'm, I'm I am a fan of Manic Miner, you can see the the the, the Manic Miner um, feels there to it. Um, see, I would never have been able to get past him. But you can fall a long way, which you can't do in Manic Miner. Um, these are interesting, because you have to jump and then jump at an angle. He's got a quite a... Quite, I have to admit, though... <clears throat> and then we got the out. I have to admit, though, um, his jump is much more flexible than that of Manic Miner's. Manic Miner's... Oh, I forgot about this level. It actually starts you next to a bad guy. You've got to move straight away. It's pretty harsh. But I like this bit. Watch. So if you're far enough down the screen, you see this little soul flying off. There we go. Up we go. Kind of cool. Anyway, right, this one's a tough level. Uh, it took me a while to beat this, and then once I've beaten it, funnily enough, um, I, I could I could do everything. So look at this. You see, you can float down really easily there. Now you got to wait for this guy to come back and then run past him. What about that for a bit of bit of bit of spectrum skill? Uh, same with this guy. Uh, I missed it there. Now uh, I'm running short of time. Yeah, okay. Let's not mess around because we've got time is running short. And it's really tough because of the time running short. Oh! Stood too close to it and got got. Right, let's go. Let's get. Let's let's move. And once you get past this level, the next three are really quite simple. And then all of a sudden. Ah! They're really quite simple. The next three after this particular level, it's all about timing, and that's that's a that's a common trait of uh, of games of the eighties. It was all about timing, and I mean very precise timing. If you didn't if you didn't do it exactly at the right time, you you were you'd had it. It was kind of the the end of the the the, the level. Let's see, let's go. Let's let this bird go past. It's down this way. I found that you have to kind of wait for it to come back again before you can go up. Because you need to be the right facing the right way. Otherwise, Pac-Man gets you. Yeah, see, Pac-Man. Pac-Man is in Lancelot. It's very weird. God, timing. There we go. And out. And there's our score. We did all right, actually, with that one. Forgot about that guy coming straight at me. Oh, missed it. But you must make the most of the movement on this because it's because it takes some. It's as I say, it takes some beating. Um, and you got kind of step forward. There we go. That's him done. Follow this guy in here. Do this one while I've got a chance. 
I'm going to just do this one here and then we've only got the last one over here with him which is kind of a timing job and then up here in we go wait for him there and the outs up here just don't just don't don't mess it up yes so that, as I say, once you've got the timing of that level, this one's actually quite an easy level. Um, again, it's a timing thing with the ball at the bottom, but beyond that, it's not actually particularly difficult. Um, wait for the bird. And go past this. Boom, 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 boom. Straight up here. And now what we have to do is we have to wait for the ball. Now, I found that if you just drop now, you can go, and then you're straight out. Pretty simple level, that one. I've quite enjoyed playing this actually. I've been playing it for quite a while. I didn't. I don't. I've, I've, it's, it's kind of. It's kind of grabbed me. Now this is. This, I say the next three levels. It's not the next three levels. The next two levels because then you get another horrible one like this. Because once you get too far up this ladder, um, you've you've you're kind of stuck. So right. So that's them all collected. So we have just got the last one to do. Now this is really quite a difficult one because I I find this quite a hard one to get because. But I don't know how I get past this thing. I think I have to, I have to do a big jump. This is this is where I got to previously, when I finally got past that second level. Um, but I have to, I have to jump when it's coming at me. Let, ah, it's too fast. It needs you need to jump. I need to jump a lot earlier. What point do I need to be jumping? It's a difficult situation this one because it's it's there's a there's a point I'm going to have to be jumping at um, to get past it, and I haven't quite sussed out what point. It is. Um, <laughs> it's interesting. Pac-Man's there again. Notice he's not in yellow though. He's like evil Pac-Man. Now I quite like this one. As I say, for a 16k game, it's quite. It's quite. It's right. Okay. So I think I have to jump when he's. There we go. Yes. So you had to jump like richly when it was at the other end of it. So this is the first I've got, and it's as I say, it's also very, it's very manic miner esque. Um, but hey, I've got twenty four levels on this game rather than the, the rather than the, the the twenty I think it is in the levels in manic miner. Um, ooh, I have to go down the bottom to get that one. Right, okay, up we go, up we go, up we go. Oh, bud. That's where I've got to be. Ha! Ah! Fell off the edge. Damn. It's getting there. Very, very much getting there. As I say, very um, solidly created levels. I've got no actual issue with the levels. I think they're really well designed. I think they, I think they do the job beautifully. Um, they're, they're, they're just very tough. When you get to them, um, they do require a, a wee bit of thought, it seems. And then that bird goes past. There we go. And then there's the out. Yes! Oh, hey, another level done. Doing quite well here. I never expected to do this well. Right, where's that bird going to go? All the way across? No, not all the way across. So he's go 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 go. Right, where do you go? Right, so you're going to require a little bit of that. Excellent. That's it over the edge of that. I recognise that little creature there, though, like the little cauldron thing with feet. I'm sure it was in something else. Yes, another level done. Wow. And I, 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 dare I dare I speak about how? Oh yeah, we'll go that way. No, no, no! Bird got me. Wasn't looking at the timing of that one there. Wasn't looking very well at all at the timing of that. I'm just trying to work out the best way of approaching this one. This bird goes right. That one goes right the way. Does he go right the way across? Do I have to jump when he's right over here? No. Right, I have a feeling I have to go to the bottom. Yeah, I think it's a. I think it's one of these games where you have to go to the bottom, get into that, get into the gap that's just below the ladder. But I think I missed it now. I think that's it. I think we're all over. 
Oh, I'm really impressed with that. A nice bit of play, that. Yeah, really nice. Good game, actually, Lancelot. Highly recommend. Very tough. Um, the t timing's an interesting thing, but but actually, it's a game. It's really, really good. I'm, I'm mightily impressed by that one. Yeah, thumbs up, 100%. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Tonight Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.